so much, Mark, for joining us today in almost November, but you've moved it up to Movember. Tell me what Movember, changing the face of men's health, tell me what does that mean for us? So Movember is a global men's health charity focused on, uh, as you said, changing the face of men's health. And we're known for getting men over the last 19 years uh, and women that love men in their lives to uh, support growing a mustache. And that's what we're known for. Um, but there are other ways to engage in Movember. And I think in that 19 years, uh, what we focused on is three cause areas in men's health. The first being mental health and suicide prevention, uh, the second being prostate cancer, and the third being testicular cancer. So it's a, an awareness campaign, it's a stigma reduction campaign, but it's also a fundraising campaign to invest in uh, finding cures for prostate and testicular cancer, but also engaging in and supporting men when they have a mental health issue. On average, uh, tell me about the difference of women living longer than men. So uh, men, on average in the U.S., die six years younger than women, uh, often for preventable diseases. So when we look at mental health and suicide prevention, uh, one of the challenges that we see is three out of four suicides in the U.S., and this is a statistic we see globally in the other 19 markets, is three out of four suicides in the U.S. are men. Uh, that's 100 men we lose to suicide each day. If you look at prostate cancer, one in eight men in the U.S. will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in a lifetime. And if you're a black man in America, you're twice as likely to die from that disease. And then lastly, testicular cancer is the second leading cause of cancer amongst young men between 15 and 35. So just understanding the risks that men face and engaging them and raising their awareness about what they might have uh, happening in their lives and then encouraging them to take action is really what Movember is about. What are the five things to know about men's health that you can help them save their own lives? Sure. And I think it's first is, is raising that awareness like we've been talking about. So how do we engage men in understanding the risks they might face? Uh, and then ultimately reducing the stigma around that conversation that we need to be having with men and men need to be having uh, with those around them. And then moving to the conversation itself and giving them the opportunity and the space to articulate what's happening with them. So if they have a physical health issue, um, how do we actually engage in that conversation? And the last two is really encouraging them to take action. We often find that uh, when you encourage a man to take action for their own health, they do seek out uh, a clinician or a therapist or someone in their lives that can help them with that particular issue that they've articulated. And then lastly, checking back in with them. So checking back in with them on what they've talked to you about and making sure that they're following up and taking the action for their own health. We've talked about the serious, so let's talk about the frivolous, about growing your uh, mustache in November for men. Tell me about that. So we started out with a very simple concept 19 years ago in Melbourne, Australia, where we were founded. Uh, a bunch of mates got together and said, let's grow mustaches for the month of November. Uh, and what they found, though, was that it wasn't just the fun side of that conversation. It was the serious side of the conversation around people were asking, them, why are you growing a mustache? But we use the mustache uh, as a way to engage men and those that care for men in a fun conversation, a fun way to engage in men's health, but also have that serious conversation. And throughout the month, uh, men can grow a mustache. Uh, women and men, and we've had 6 million men, women and men across the globe participate in November in those 19 years. Uh, they can move together for the 30 days, so challenge each other to a physical activity for 30 days. And they can also host events. So have a party, uh, have an opportunity to get together and actually Okay, let me let me ask you, did I hear you right? Women can also grow a mis mustache? Did no, I hear no, that no. right? <laughs> no, uh, okay. no, it was more just that, uh, you know, we encourage women to support men who are growing mustache. But oh, okay. women can women can move with uh, the men in their life for the 30 days, which is a physical activity challenge, or they can host events with the men in their lives. All right, then. Great. Phew. I was worried about that <laughs> one. Okay, so where do we go and find more information about supporting the cause? Sure. If you go over to Movember.com, that's just November with an M instead of an N. Uh, Movember.com, uh, you can sign up for the coming campaign. You can grow, move, host, or mow your own way. Uh, you can donate to Movember and the men that we serve. And you can learn more about some of the challenges that men face and what you can do about engaging the men in your life to take action for their own health. I like this. This is something that uh, a lot of people can participate in. Thank you so much for stopping by the Valder Beebe Show and talking about Movember. I Thank really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Hey, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcasts, and in print publications. 
I interviewed the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway.